Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, I want to start off the video by saying thank you to all the subscribers, all the viewers on the channel, showing the channel so much support. Immensely appreciate that. If you guys have any great video content ideas, anything you want seen posted on the channel, please do so in the comment threads down below, and I'll do my best to get out a video for you guys. And if you are new to the channel, think about sharing the channel, subscribing to the channel, and if you do subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content on the channel. For today's video, I want to do an update on a video I put out about a week and a half ago entitled Make $500 Per Week Trading. This was a video, or that was a video that I put out talking about some of the options trades I've been doing with AT&T. On that video, I entered into a number of options contracts. I received an options premium just over $550, essentially got paid $550 to enter into those contracts. And for today's video, I want to do an update on what happened with all of those contracts. The majority of those contracts did execute. I was required to buy 600 shares of AT&T. A couple of the contracts did expire, so I simply kept that options premium. Nothing happened with the contract. But I initially lost quite a bit of money because the price of the stock did pull back quite considerably under the prices that I had put in to buy the stock at $30 and $30.50. We can see here the stock has rebounded quite nicely now above the prices that I bought the stock for. So I kept the options premium $550. Actually, I think it was $551 to be exact. And then also I bought the stock at $30 for 100 shares and for another 500 shares at $30.50. The stock's currently trading at 3080, so I made a nice swing trade potentially, as well as keeping those options premium. If I take a look at the graph here as well, you can see how the stock did rebound here. Uh, one month it is down 0.39%, but essentially I bought the stock in uh, this range here, it trended down, so I had to buy the stock again. If the stock is less than $30 or 3050, I had to buy that stock. But you can see that nice rebound here for the last few weeks of trading, one week here 2.67% in the green. So let's go down to the bottom of the graphs here. Uh, again, you take a look at that prior video. It goes through all of the trades, the reasoning for entering into those trades. Uh, but I'll do a very quick review here, but that prior video has a much more detailed uh, accounting of all of these trades. But let's go to the bottom here. You can see the first trade. I'll be focusing, again, all of the trades for 2-1. Uh, the other trades I'll simply uh, bypass here. So the first one on the bottom, you can see T31 call sell, 2-1, 156, three contracts at 52 cents per contract. But this particular contract, it simply expired because the price of the stock did not get over $31. Uh, if we go to the next contract here, T30 put sell, 2-1, $49. This contract, again, if the stock price was under 30, I would have to buy the stock. This one did execute, so I bought 100 shares at $30. Going up here, there are a number of contracts. Uh, here's another one, T3150 call sell. So this meant I had to sell AT&T if it got over 3150, but again, it ended the day under 30. So this one simply expired. I kept that $62. Here's another contract in which I had to buy. And I'll lump all of these together because there are five contracts at $30.50. So T3050 put sell 2-1, meaning if the stock got under 3050, I'd have to buy the stock. So $102 for that contract. Likewise, 2-1 here, $126, another couple contracts. Uh, T3050 put sell, 2-1, $56 as well. So those were all of the 2-1 contracts. Total options premium was $551. I entered all, into all of those contracts. The price of the stock, again, was under the, uh, the strike prices for all of those contracts, $30 for 100 shares or one contract and 500 shares, five contracts for $3.50. Again, if we take a look at the month graph here, you can see that happened uh, back on the, uh, under $30 here. But then it, then it did start trending up here. And that's why I have a positive, potential positive swing trade with that particular trade. So I kept the $551. I still have made money on the swing trade. Unfortunately, I did enter into some other contracts here not the optimal price because again the price of the stock did start trending up quite considerably it was not expecting that so a number of these contracts i entered into unfortunately were not great here's one 3050 call sell so essentially if the stock is over 3050 i have to sell the stock for 3050 limiting my upside potential you can see here the contract 
Uh, I only got $9 for that contract. Currently, it's trading at $35 uh, for that contract. So I lost 36, or excuse me, $26 on that contract. Again, really not losing anything because if I do have to sell off at that price, it's the same price that I bought the stock for. So I'm simply limiting my upside potential. Uh, if it got up to $31, for example, I'm losing 50 cents per share on all those contracts. So essentially $50 per contract. But overall, again, just wanted to do a quick update video for you guys. $551 options premiums for all of those contracts. Two of the contracts expired, simply kept those options premiums. And then six of the contracts, one contract, 100 shares at $30 I had to buy, as well as 500 contracts at $30.50 I had to buy. Lost money initially because the stock did trend down below those prices, but the stock price has rebounded. Made that options premium as well as potentially uh, some more options premium. So really, the uh, stock with all the premiums that I bought here will add up to just under $700. But if I would have waited and sold those contracts off later, it would have been about a $1,000 uh, overall trade. Buying the stock and then selling the stock back off uh, with covered calls. So that is my experience so far with at and I've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, unfortunately, I have not been able to jump into the portfolio as often as I would have liked to. That's why I made some pretty bad trades there with at and But again, I just limited my upside potential. I really have no uh, fear of losing any money. I can't lose any money because I bought the stock at the same price that I potentially have to sell the stock off for again. Again, utilizing put sales and call sales, alternating between those two with at and And also, I did not highlight on the bottom as well, at t has a very good dividend as well. Uh, let's go down, uh, there it is. T, dividend, 900 shares, 51 cents per share, 4.59. So even if you do enter into these contracts, you can't get out of the stock. It has a very good dividend yield. So you can pick up that dividend income while you're looking to get out of a swing trade. If you do put in a contract, you have to buy the stock, but the stock does not trend up in price. You can still make that dividend income while holding the stock. And again, I only do this in stocks that I'm more than happy to hold for the longer term like at &T. So for example, those 600 shares that I entered into, if I was not able to sell those st stocks off for a gain, more than happy to keep that stock in the portfolio over the longer term to collect that very nice dividend. And I think the dividend is just under 7%. Actually, it's over 7% now, 7.043. But with the stock trending up here, it's probably about 6.8% or so for the dividend yield, at least the one that will be upcoming. So again, not to be too verbose here, that is the experience so far with at and Positive trade with regards to the options premium as well as its stock price then trending back up to make a potential either positive swing trade or then selling that stock off for making more options premium on selling off covered calls. So let me know if you guys are doing something similar with at and or another stock. Currently looking for another stock to jump into. So if you guys have any great candidate stocks, let me know. Always appreciate that. And not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, we'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.